this is session 3 about algae in the previous sessions we discussed about the features about uh, classification of algae the different classes in each class what are the features the pigments in the class the uh, storage um, substance such things were discussed in the previous sessions also it was discussed on the morphology of the thallus of algae the different forms of the thallus then economic importance of algae was also discussed in this session pigments in algae will be discussed this is a small session about the pigments in algae so the pigments in algae it is one of the important criteria used in differentiation of the classes used for its differentiation into different classes like green algae red algae brown algae blue green algae golden algae etc so the pigments present in algae are chlorophylls carotenoids and billy proteins billy proteins are also known as phycoplins so the so these are the three categories of pigments that we see in algae chlorophylls carotenoids billy proteins billy proteins are also known as phycoplins so based on the presence of these uh, pigments different combinations of these uh, pigments are present not all the pigments are seen in a single class of algae a, a combination of different pigments are seen in many chlorophyll a will be present at the same time carotenoids may be present also phycoplins may be present in some chlorophyll b plus carotenoid and sometimes alpha carotenoid and one uh, phycoplin so different combinations of uh, pigments are seen in different classes of algae and these combinations are given them the different colors also certain pigments will be predominant in certain algae and that will be giving that particular coloration to the algae like brown algae red algae golden algae blue green algae etc so first uh, category of uh, pigments that is about the chlorophylls there are different types of chlorophylls like chlorophyll a b c d e etc c itself there can be chlorophyll c1 c2 etc so chlorophyll a is found in plants in all the plants and that is terrestrial plants as well as in almost all the alga chlorophyll b is found in plants and green alga chlorophyll c that is found only in certain types of alga mostly seen in marine alga that is in diatoms dinoflagellates brown alga chlorophyll d that is a rarer form it is found in red alga and cyanobacteria and chlorophyll e that is again a rare form found in golden algae so here a chart is given the algal group chlorophyceae that is green algae here we can see the pigments chlorophyll a chlorophyll b beta carotene xanthophylls in xanthophyceae we can see the presence of chlorophyll a beta carotene xanthophylls in basilariophyceae there is chlorophyll a chlorophyll c beta carotene in pheophyceae that is brown algae we can see the presence of chlorophyll a chlorophyll c1 chlorophyll c2 phucoxanthin beta carotene xanthophylls in rhodophyceae that is red algae there is chlorophyll a chlorophyll d beta carotene phycoerythrin phycocyanin in mixophyceae there is chlorophyll a beta carotene phycocyanin phycoerythrin you can note that chlorophyll is a is present in almost all the classes but other pigments that will be differing some may be present some may be absent so about the carot carotenoids the next category of pigments there are two uh, we can um, again classify carotenoids into xanthophylls and carotenes xanthophylls they are also known as phyllocanthins and there are around more than 20 types of xanthophylls these are yellow pigments that occur widely in nature 
and it is found in highest quantity in leaves of most green plants and the xanthophylls which are found in the bodies of animals are actually derived from plant sources in the diet it is not made up by the animals themselves the the xanthophylls which we find in the animal bodies for example the uh, yellow part of the uh, egg the yolk of the egg it is yellow in color there is there is a range of coloration can be seen from deep yellow to orange yellow light yellow and this depends upon the xanthophyll which the organism as derived from the um, plant sources in its diet that is through its food how much xanthophyll it has derived into its body how much xanthophyll it has absorbed into its body and based upon that the color the intensity of the color of the yolk will be varying so the xanthophylls found in bodies of animals are derived from plant sources in diet and it is not actually produced by the animals and the xanthophylls they are mainly present in chlorophyceae and pheophyceae among the algal groups and examples for xanthophylls are lutein violet xanthin phycoxanthin etc phycoxanthin it is a main pigment in pheophyceae and diatoms then about carotenes they are important for photosynthesis they are seen in land plants as well as in algae then we can see five types of carotenes in algae alpha carotenes beta carotenes c carotenes e carotenes flavacin alpha carotenes is present in chlorophyceae cryptophyceae rhodophyceae beta carotenes all are present in all algal groups except in cryptophyceae and c carotenes it is present in chlorophyceae e carotenes in basilariophyceae cryptophyceae pheophyceae and flavacin in cyanophyceae so the xanthophylls and carotenes keep the different shades of yellow and orange coloration to the organisms in which it is present next category of pigments that is that we see in algal groups alkyl algae is biliproteins it is also known as phycobilins so these are water soluble pigments and these are light capturing bilins found in cyanobacteria and in chloroplast of red algae glucophytes and cryptomonads so among the algae they are predominant in cyanobacteria and red algae they are light capturing bilins bilins are also known as bile pigments they are capable of capturing light and these bile proteins they are not found in green algae and plants they are mainly seen in cyanobacteria and red algae and they can be phycocyanin phycoerythrin allophycocyanin so common in rhodophyceae and cyanophyceae rhodophyceae that is red algae and cyanophyceae which consists of cyanobacteria so in rhodophyceae we see r phycoerythrin that is the chief pigment we see in rhodophyceae r phycoerythrin and the chief pigment that we see in cyanophyceae is c phycocyanin and the presence of these pigments have given that particular coloration to rhodophyceae and cyanophyceae not only this pigment is present there are also the presence of other pigments like chlorophyll a and other certain pigments and this bile proteins of phycobilins they are especially efficient at absorbing red orange yellow and green light wavelengths which are not absorbed by chlorophyll a and these bile proteins they are bonded to certain water soluble proteins known as phycobile proteins and this phycobilins they fluoresce it fluoresce fluoresce they show fluorescence they fluoresce at a particular wavelength and they for used in research as chemical tags so the various pigments that we see in algae are that can be classified into chlorophylls carotenoids and bile proteins thank you for your patient listening